I thank the member for Solomon. The question now is that the amendment be agreed to. I give the call to the member for Macquarie. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr Deputy Speaker. I rise today to speak on the Social Security Legislation Amendment for the Green Army Program. This bill is an important step in the delivery of a key election commitment and also in the pursuit of real outcomes for the environment. The Coalition has always been committed to taking direct action for the environment. We recognise that practical work and building on partnerships between bush care groups and community organisations are what will produce long-term outcomes. This legislation provides a key framework and structure for the implemented, Im implementation of the Green Army program across the nation. During the campaign, the election campaign, there were 150 Green Army projects announced nationwide, with an additional 100 to be rolled out between 2014 and 2015. The Green Army will become Australia's largest ever environmental workforce, building to 15,000 participants by 2018. This means the program will be capable of delivering around 1,500 on-the-ground projects. The projects and initiatives will vary from the clean-up of riverbeds and creek beds to the revegetation of degraded land and mangrove habitat. Given that the electorate of Macquarie uh, encompasses the Hawkesbury and the Blue Mountains, much of it um, World Heritage listed national parks, this uh, program will be significant for our region and for our communities. The effects will be tangible and visible for the community to see and will help to create and conserve areas for families and individuals to enjoy. What is most significant about the Green Army program is the opportunity it presents for our young people. The voluntary initiative is tailored for 17 to 24-year-olds, a critical demographic for our nation. We all know what a, challenge situation our young, a challenging situation our young people can find themselves in, particularly when they're transi transitioning from, work, from school to work. In a changing employment landscape, many young people who have so much potential find themselves struggling as they transition from school to work. The Green Army is an important milestone for providing job opportunities for our young people and a pathway to training and or employment. Participants of the Green Army can apply as school leavers and gap year students, and the unemployed can also opt to join the Green Army as an alternative to work for the Dole programs. The Green Army will provide meaningful, practical, hands-on environmental skills and training and experience for thousands of young Australians. The program will boost workforce training and productivity, foster teamwork, local ownership and community spirit. I was fortunate enough to see firsthand the success of the Green Army Corps project during the period of the Howard government. There were significant outcomes achieved during this time, both for young people and the environment. At the time, I had the uh, opportunity to observe and participate in a project at Second Ponds Creek, and as a result that pro of that project, many of the participants went on to further training and employment. Unfortunately, when the Labor government came into power, they dismantled the Green Army Corps and replaced it with National Green Jobs Corps, which effectively reclassified unemployed people who continued to receive an income support payment and it was then abolished altogether. The Green Army program will involve six monthly placements in Green Army teams, providing an alternative to income support for many younger, young Australians interested in engaging in work-like experiences and activities. Up to nine eligible participants and at least one team supervisor will co constitute a Green Army team. The projects will run for between 20 and 26 weeks. During this period, Green Army participants will have the opportunity to develop job-ready skills and undertake training. It will be the responsibility of the service provider to develop training plans for each of the Green Army participants. Participants will receive a Green Army allowance while participating in the program and the service provider will be responsible for the disbursement of the allowance. Team supervisors will be employed and paid a, a wage by the service provider. The bill ensures that people receiving a Green Army allowance under the Green Army program will not also receive a social security benefit or social security pension simultaneously. I was pleased during the election campaign in Macquarie to announce an important Green Army project within the Blue Mountains, which will begin rollout 
later this year. The Prince Henry Cliff Walk in the Upper Blue Mountains is a beautiful walk that covers the top of the cliff line and most of the major lookouts. A Green Army project will include essential track upgrade of this iconic walk, which was constructed between 1934 and 1936. This will have benefits for the tourist industry within the mountains. I believe this project will provide significant impetus to the ongoing work of volunteer groups, councils and other stakeholders in improving revegetation of bushland and the upgrade of important reserve facilities. It's one of the Blue Mountains' busiest tourist precincts and provides various connections to the Federal Pass Walk Track and the tourism precincts in both Lura and Katoomba. People living and working in the electorate of Macquarie share a passion to see our region thrive and grow. We also share a passion for the environment, for preserving it for the future generations. I recently also met with the Hawkesbury City Council to discuss the opportunities for other projects to be submitted for round one later this year. I'm pleased to note that the council have already taken up this opportunity and have submitted ideas for other projects across the region. I believe there is a lot of untapped potential in our region and I look forward to working with the community and bush care groups in the Blue Mountains and the Hawkesbury to deliver these important projects. I know that this program will deliver long-term results not only for the environment but for our community. I think it's important to also acknowledge the Greater Western Sydney Conservation Corridor, uh, which uh, the coalition government last night reaffirmed in the budget a commitment of $15 million. Uh, this will help to preserve the Cumberland Plain woodland. This includes $7.5 million in direct funding for the acquisition of threatened land in the Cumberland Conservation Corridor. This commitment will help green urban lands and protect existing green areas in the Greater Western Sydney region. I'm pleased to see this come to fruition after many years of hard work. It has been a real team effort to plan and prepare for this project. The protection of green areas within and around the electorate of Macquarie as is a vital part of making our local community more livable, and this initiative offers a once-in-a-generation chance to establish a conservation corridor, enhance our urban areas and preserve important habitat for future generations. I'm very pleased to support this bill as an important piece of legislation that will help deliver to more young people more work in my electorate and opportunities to learn and grow. The coalition government is getting on with the job of building not only a stronger economy, but providing our young people with a future while protecting, conserving and uh, building on our environmental strengths. I thank the member for Macquarie.